Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're jumping down into the world of VeChain, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what I might expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now if you have not yet joined us in Discord, the link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check that out today and also in the description down below you're going to find links to our new cheeky podcast a fantastic way to kind of stay up to date with everything crypto on your daily commute to the office so why not check that out today as well okay let's waste no more time let's jump right down into this right so here we have v chain vet paired up with usdt on the hourly chart and binance is the data source now here we are have been tracking you know potential kind of five wave structural move to the downside things have changed ever so slightly here as we have this corrective move coming on up and i was just looking at this this morning and thinking about where this is projecting to go where our estimated lows are and are whether or not we're going to see you know this um this overextension within a wave five come on down here or you know some something else at play here that could be more sinister now i'm reviewing this and i'm looking at it and i'm just thinking to myself you know it's possible that all of this drop to this downside over here is actually all just a single wave in itself just a wave one uh, meaning that we're actually in a corrective wave two very similar to where we are with things like ethereum and with uh, with bitcoin rather than this being a five wave drop to the downside so i think there's a couple of different options here or different a couple of ways of different looking at it and um, essentially we are trying to track this fifth wave coming on down um, which is a macro c wave which comes all the way from up the top there and um, so you know i think there's a couple of ways i think what we're going to do here is we're going to have to keep a close eye on whether or not this gets invalidated if it does then i'm going to have to say this is probably just a wave one meaning a wave two and that would actually mean that we'll have much deeper retracements than first thought and um, specifically here for v chain so a couple of things that are just worth kind of noting at this stage okay so if this is a fourth wave move then it is coming to its end okay um, so if we take this move just here and we transpose this over to this low just this side you can see that we can come up a little bit higher than this area here approximately you know two th uh, 2.391 however that would invalidate this as a fourth wave move so um it, you know it's quite interesting to see where this is going to potentially land next um so you know from an optimistic point of view i would say that it might just be that we end up kind of getting a reversal real soon at this point um so let's take a look at the momentum indicator we can see we've got some growth here on the hourly um four hourly is overbought the eight hourly is overbought the daily is actually got some growth to it so um, i'm reviewing this and i'm looking at it and i'm thinking if anything considering the momentum behind the price it could be that actually we're in a wave two now we take a look at the actual volume here and the volume's decreasing as the price is moving up so it is running out of steam there it hasn't got too much more room to grow and the volumes are just generally pretty low anyway we take a look at the bollinger bands you can see here that we're testing the upper band quite a bit so rejection is likely and um, so that's not really uh, that much in uh, giving us much of a clue of what is going on you can see and uh, there's a lot of resistance up here as well um so you know i don't think we're going to have too much room to the upside when actually more room to the downside overall um but the daily chart's an interesting one to kind of keep an eye on so um you know invalidation if i grab hold i'm going to remove this white line i think so i don't need that one now um, and i'll remove the horizontal line we don't need that let me just grab this um, and if i put this down here you can see the invalidation of this fourth wave comes in at 2.377 uh, seven cents okay so at 2.377 seven cents um, that basically means that this is no longer a wave four move and it's just a three wave drop okay um so you know if i remove this and we actually start to really think about what's going on here um, obviously we can see here that we had this move but it could be that all of this here is just a wave one so it looks more like this and then we move up into a wave two then down for a wave three um so you know i think there's a couple of options a couple of things to kind of keep an eye on here and um, specifically 2.377 cents uh, if we can move up higher than that then yeah essentially it looks like we've got a much much deeper um structural move to the downside to be had here and all of this is just a wave one move um and you know you know looking at it this could be a it actually would play quite nicely into this move i think 
uh, where we'd have this kind of structural move like that. Um, so all of that could be a little wave one, uh, meaning that we can have a three wave structural move going up uh, like this. Uh, just coming here, maybe even just taking that a little bit higher. Um, and then we drop down again into a five wave structural move dropping down into our actual accumulation zones. But, you know, this should actually then drop down lower later. Um, so I think, you know, there's a couple of things here going on. Um, I think it's a tad too soon to know categorically which one of these is is the right one um to kind of be focusing in on so i think this is the most probable outcome where we have the wave one and we're currently in a wave two correction um i think that's the most probable scenario here based on every other kind of altcoin and and all that kind of stuff um specifically you know where bitcoin is going and things like that so if that is the case then you know we can kind of be a little bit more predictive over where things could potentially land so if we just take that slight high higher zone here uh, then our 1.618 so our moves to the downside should come uh, quite significant they should be somewhere down here uh, towards 1.652 um, and you know, this is quite opposite to what we were talking about the other other week right or last week um, and I think this really just shows you what can happen with these kind of micro movements how that data can change quite quickly without actually seeming like it's changed anything it's been a very boring long weekend where we've done nothing but kind of trade sideways a little bit um, but essentially what that does is it resets data in the background things you don't see inside the the actual candlesticks and then you can actually we confirm different moves that are going on so it does look like we might end up with this as a more probable move so we'll just keep a close eye on it as nothing is guaranteed in this space it is still possible that we still have these low targets completely um you know bottomed out just down here for example you know high end of like two cent um you know but it's also possible that we just drop straight through it right so we should be very very cautious uh, because you know we could be talking about dropping down probably like as low as maybe 1.4 cent right so um we should be quite cautious over where we want to necessarily you know buy we need to make sure that we have the right um data to support the moves that we're looking for the trend is very much to the downside and um, anything going up right now is counter to the trend so it's all short-term corrective moves going up and all trend-based patterns going down okay um, and we do obviously see this kind of bottoming out relatively soon so um, essentially we're getting very close to what i believe to be the bear market bottom uh, we are very close to that in my opinion however you know the journey to it in itself is going to be mapped out with many um you know, trend-based patterns and corrective short-term patterns uh, on that journey so you know when we talk about moving down here you have three moves down with two moves that are counter to the trend and um, so it's important that we understand that nothing moves in straight lines it's not going to happen instantly it's got some time to take to get there um, and there was going to be some boring times in the, in the market. But essentially what we're trying to do here is uh, a dollar cost average during these kind of low moments um, accumulate uh, ahead of the next kind of really big cycle. And uh, in the case of VeChain, we've dropped down, I think, uh, reasonably low. I th if I can actually bring this up into our daily here for a sec, just remove that. Um, what we now like tracking at the current price, we're 91% from the previous all time high. And by the time we actually come down into these lows, we'll be 93% from the all time high. So, pretty significant retracements have been had. If we actually bring all this into view, you can see the larger structural move here of the uh, ABC. We're inside the last little leg of this. Okay. And um, so, essentially, everything's looking pretty good from that kind of perspective. But we do want to make sure that we have the right kind of area here mapped out for this low point on our wave five, which, um, you know, we are potentially talking about, you know, dropping down quite significantly. So guys, I'm gonna leave the video there. Um, if you have found this useful and informative, hit the like button, I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, join us in Discord. And, uh, you know, we actually cover VeChain pretty much daily down in Discord, um, you know, for our members in the Patreon and stuff like that. So why not check that out if that's your bag as well. guys? I'm going to leave it there. If you have found it useful and informative, hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next one.